is AFK Journey, as is their auto battler mode. So, folks coming back from the adverts, I think Pure Nectar is actually really good, especially as it scales up into the late game. This is one where you're like weak early and has no effect, so you don't have mythics or legendaries to start, but it's good late. I also am fairly convinced at this point that Vala plus Corin is like one of the strongest things you can be doing. Most of my eight and nine win runs involve these two. Uh, that being said, I've drafted a ton of light bearers, so I don't think I want to do another draft with these two. Crystal, Crystal Cell, I think, is a solid artifact as well. Uh, physical and magic defense the front most goes up by 20%, and then it increases the backline damage of everything by 25%, so long as that hero's alive, and uh, Thorin here revives himself once, so he's excellent with this. Gruglin Mask, I think, is a complete and total trap. I think um, most of the compositions that look good and feel strong in this game mode have a good bit of sustain in them, and this is not an artifact you should be taking. We're going to be looking for a 3x Graveborn pack here, so perfect. Whoa, what a roll. I think uh, Carolina and Sika together is not ideal until you have an instant alt artifact is one we'll want to keep an eye out for, but for our first go through, having five Graveborns is great. Zeus, thank you for the 10 months. Welcome back. Then I'm going to go ahead, and because we're playing this one, I want to make sure our frontliner stays alive, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put that armor on him to start. Honestly, Silent Helmet might be okay, too. Putting Silent Helmet on Igor could be okay. What are the... the the, one of the things you want to figure out early in your drafts is what faction or factions you, you want to be drafting into. In addition to there being type bonuses in this game, I think something a lot of people miss is there's faction bonuses. So if you have three of one faction or three plus two of another, four of a faction or five of a faction, you get stat bonuses here. 10, 14, 18, or 22 to attack and HP if you're playing, so you're you're really heavily incentivized to have everyone one to two factions that you're working in. Moment. You're not even worth getting up for. Uh, this says they are the they're playing Muriel here, which means I specifically don't want to put my squishies all the way in the back because they're gonna be a uh, likely have Vala because Muriel is this character, which is a light bearer, which means Vala is in their output range. One of the reasons why you want to be checking their artifacts is a little Let's bit less likely when we're this early. Harvest together. But you want to be thinking about, okay, this artifact implies they're playing units from this faction. That lets you know what things you should be playing around in your initial setup, even when you're playing. And look, they have a Vala, and I put Igor in the back, so Vala can turn it down. Rewarded for looking at the artifacts. a big laser, but that's the sea call, so I think we're good. Oh. Well, victory. Yes, the, the Muriel artifact is very good. If you can live long enough to get the instant alt for her, she's super strong. Honestly, I was going to take a random grave board roll here. That's a little unfortunate that we got two that we didn't have. That's less than ideal. Although, honestly, a uh, pocket Sylvina is not bad. One of, one of the things I like about this character is she can kind of be like a sideboard character for my card gamers, where like, if your opponent's playing a composition where you expect that effect to be good, you can uh, sub her in. I'm gonna grab the extra energy here and put it on Sika. Yeah, so Mina's a top tier six character because there are certain compositions where like your opponent's gonna deploy, she can like sub Igor basically because they don't necessarily play well together. Or she can sub one of our mages sometimes too, depending on what they look like. Igor's good for pulling their, their assassin slash Vala. Like this, for example, this is one where it reduces hero's damage by 50% and then makes them slowly lose HP. So it's like not a, a type of matchup where I want an assassin. Everyone. 
Much You're not even worth up. getting up for. Fairly similarly to last time. I think I'm gonna leave room to put my near room here. A battlefield more merciless than the frigid winter. Let's go harvest. Let's turn the battlefield into a cemetery. So maulers and wilders, uh, wilders are gonna have a type advantage into us, is noteworthy. Well, they do have a light guard. Yeah, the first, the first couple of rounds, you'll find people that are playing some mismatch teams. So the drafts don't always work out to the start. Okay, you got. Because all tier, hopefully, means we're good you to go. Cannot leave. Something's real good. All for her. Well, victory is deserved. to grab another one of these to put it on Carolina. But don't. Um, got three that we could roll an upgrade on here. Carolina upgrade sounds lovely. J-Rock, thanks for the 61 months. Welcome back. Igor seems broken out here. Igor is one of those characters where... Um, Igor is one of those characters where it looks more obnoxious than it actually ends up being a lot of the time. I'm gonna lock the random grave board since we have almost all of them. Take a pack of that. I know that I need more alts. This one lets you alt more frequently. I think that's useful. His damage over time is good because he has sustain. Okay, so they are preventive for using ultimates and then they deal lots of damages. Um, Everyone this might be a comp where I want... Pay up price. Where I want Sylvina to jump on Let's their back line. harvest together. A battlefield more merciless than the frigid winter. You're not even worth getting up for. Present. Your command? I'll put my assassin into there as I think here. So what I'm doing is looking for heroes of the same faction. Uh, to a degree. So having having a reasonable composition with five characters of the same faction gives you a stat bonus, which has value. But there's other synergies too. I've definitely had a number of successful runs that play like three, two, or four, one. Uh, grave, grave boards are actually an example of a faction that splashes an extra character with some frequency because grave boards don't have a real healer. So you'll you'll often splash like Henwin or Rowan in them. Is this what victory feels like? Your your artifact often helps you figure out. Yeah, Smokey's a fine splash into these as well. That. Perfect. And now that Sylvita is a legendary early forest, we'll probably prioritize playing her a little bit more frequently. I'll take one roll here, because if we hit Niru, we can upgrade him. We'll grab Carolina's getting close. Honestly, with Sylvina... With Sylvina being close, I don't, I don't think I'm splashing in this cop. I think the way things are slamming here... Um, I think I'm just playing these. I'm going to keep an eye out for an instant alt artifact for Carolina as like an extra sustain. Yeah, three, two, four, one, and five are the most common numbers for what you want your team composition to look like in terms of faction breakdown.
I've definitely had opponents take longer than me to place things in the opening thing. This this part of the PvP is real time take magic. I also wouldn't be surprised if similar to Marvel Snap, there's some bots when you first start out. But this is this game this game mode is real time PvP. I did pull for Floribel, yeah. Everyone must pay a price. This map's kind of not great for our two a battlefield more our two summoners. Than frigid winter. I, I might not deploy her. This might be an Igor. Let's go. This might be an Igor today. map. And I think Carolina gets the nod as our solo summoner, even though I don't have an item on her because she's a uh, higher tier. Let's turn the battlefield into a cemetery! Present. Your command? Yeah, I think this is the play. Oh, them pulling aggro. Oh, my assassin into their tank sucks. They are assassin being stuck in my Igor, though. It's great for us. Oh, Carolina died before she could ult. Fit their Valor down is the question. If their Valor goes down, we have a good shot here. Cool. Oh, we're down to just Igor and Thor Eddie. I think we're dead. Our last Gravestone Gamers. Yeah, Tamisa's is so good. Not playing Carolina might have been a mistake. I need to get an upgrade for her. Or sorry, not playing Asika, I mean. There's, uh, there's another Carolina upgrade. That's, that's the instant ultimate I've been waiting for. So that, the instant ultimate lets her basically be a tank. So this lets her, her ult right away and then do less damage. But the main benefit of her ult is Mr. Mr. Carlisle here is just very tanky. I can sell, can't even realistically sell Igor here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one greedy roll because if I hit mythic for Carolina, I'm gonna sell one, two, three and take the mythic. What's my favorite faction? I like light bearers a lot. All right, we got one upgrade in this this draft go round. We got the instant all artifact for Seiko, which is a big upgrade, and then hopefully we'll have a mythic Carolina going into that, going into the next round. Solvina or not even yep. worth getting up for a battlefield more merciless. Everyone must pay up. This is gonna be an Igor in the back to pull their Sylvina and then our Sylvina jumping into theirs. And this is this is a mistake Let's so many people make. You really don't want to put your assassin out because then you're in, in your first round, because then your opponent gets to control Present. where your where command. you're jumping. You want to have a better idea of who you're putting your assassin into. Please, grant us eternal peace. Second alt here. Our Igor and Thorin against theirs, unless he's got some crazy item on it. We should be good to go here. There's a lot of, there's a lot of tombstones on this battlefield, though, so this might, might take a second here. So you have to kill Igor on every one of his gravestones, is how it works. So it's 
takes uh, it takes some bad. All right. So like, some of these gravestones are all right. Is this what victory feels like? All you have played to get to uh, 700 AFK stage. I think the game came out like two weeks ago. We're looking for upgrades on these three here. Really not looking for artifacts at this point. Upgrades on any of those would be huge. That's great. Increase ultimate damage by 60%, gives 200. I think I just want faster ults on her, not this one. I'm gonna wait for the flame one. We're gonna keep rolling for upgrades here. Is Violet Horn good on, good on Sylvina? It would take most of my money though, and I kind of want a Nieru or Carolina upgrade, or even Igor's. I guess not good enough to be worth buying. I want, I want better upgrades on my other people. This is a really good artifact for Thorin, but if I buy it, I'm probably committing to not having upgrade money, but I think that's worthwhile. I also don't mind having this artifact on her for now, giving her a shield when she dives in is solid. There's Nero. I'm gonna pin him for now and greed roll looking for my mythic Carolina. Do I buy this and just instant alt Carolina and Sika at the start of the round? That's gotta be insane, yeah? Like that, I think that's better than. for now. Wailing has a bigger impact here compared to Staff. Yes, in the non-honor duel PvP modes and progression, you should the definitely understand that spending the money unlocks progression in a game like this compared to, compared to how it works in Staff. Present. Your command. Let's turn the battlefield into a... Uh, there aren't currently a ton of people making content on this game mode record, so most of it has been... It's just been feeling, feeling out. I don't want to target some I don't think I can target their battle the way they positioned here, so I guess we'll be happy targeting their healer. Yes, this is the this is the actual factual gotcha game for the other gameplay. I was... I, I enjoy gotcha games in the hero collector mechanic, but I was really surprised to fight a truly competitive PvP mode in here with Honor Duel. Showing it the slave. Oh, they sustained through all of my instant alts. We're dead here. And so much sustain here. My number one advice for games like this actually applies to Marvel Staff 2. If you're gonna play games like this, it's perfectly A-OK -okay to spend money you have to spend on them if you're enjoying yourself, but make sure you set a budget. The Google, the Google Play Store app lets you set a budget inside of the app and it'll send you notifications when you're approaching the top end of that budget. Makes it very easy to stay within reasonable, reasonable space. 
He tried here, Chad. He lived a while. I'm gonna be curious to see the amount of damage he had taken at the end, but I don't think he's gonna be able to live. Another 10 seconds here, can he? Oh my god! Oh my god! Murder her! No! We can win this! No! Well, I guess I guess that's Bam. better than losing. That's but holy crap, good. I can't believe he. Look at this absolute mo what a beast! 350k to 500k damage? Holy. We would, have, we would have actually won that with slightly more time. And the the draw is technically upside. It gets us um, another free roll on the other one. So I pin that. Now we're going to be one off of this. Yeah, Thorin. Thorin's definitely carrying. I mean, to be so to be fair, our foremost hero gets extra defense and extra vitality. So he's he's very durable, and he has an item on it that gives him a shield periodically. Yes, he's definitely the best tank in the game generically. He has he's actually downgraded in this mode, so this game mode has. Uh, balance changes from the regular hero mode to try and make uh, more compositions appealing, and he's nerfed in this mode and still just absolutely absurd. You're not even worth getting up for. A battlefield more merciless than the frigid winter. Let's turn the battlefield into a cemetery! You want to put him here to pull aggro from here? I need to make sure Thorin is all the way up front. Everyone. No. Present. Diving in Your purposes. command. Present. Your command. I'm getting my talent for position save. Their comp is super weak to our diving characters. Absolutely deleted here. Holy. They had a lot of squishies in that back line. Sorry, Grandma. Grandma lived there because she had an item to give her an invincibility shield for a second, but quickly going down. Well, victory is deserved. Igor's actually not doing that much. He's probably... We have an upgrade waiting for Nero. I probably sub Nero in with that upgrade. And wow! That's the full Thorin upgrade here. I'm going to take one greed roll looking for Carolina. And if we hit it, I'm going to sell the Igor. Now I'm torn. I think I think I want the Igor upgrades because they'll be good um, if we hit a matchup where Sylvina is not good. If they like have a bunch of tankier things. We're definitely not deploying Igor in this next run because everybody else is legendary, but once Igor is legendary, we'll have like a solid six character team. They'll want us to kind of pick and choose who our last our last pick is, depending on what they're doing. Everyone must pay a price. You're not even worth getting up for. A battlefield more merciless than the frigid winter. We'll probably put like Nero here to catch assassins. Yeah, there's Vala. Present. Your command. Let's go harvesting it. And again, you see, so what I'm doing here when I'm moving these characters around, I'm looking where Sylvina's dagger is going and where their Vala's target is going. It's the chain between Thorin and Sika. Go off the end, something he does. Thorin takes some damage for an ally. Well, that's good to know. I should, I should really read all of the words more, chat. We'll probably win more if we read all of the words more. There, 
healer is down from our instant ults. Their mage went down. Just absolutely massacre here. Well, victory is deserved. I have six grave boards, and there's only eight of them in this mode. I'm gonna take the random. God, that's unlucky. Super punished. <laughs> All right, we'll sell. We'll sell him back, I suppose. Surely it works this time, right? I'm due. Okay, you know what? We rolled a blank and a blank, but I hit, I hit this on her. I have Igor pinned. Yeah, so I have, I have Igor pinned while I'm rolling on purpose, chat, because buying this Igor doesn't get me an upgrade. And there could be another thing that's an actual upgrade that I would want to spend the resources on. So I'm basically, I'm taking one less roll to not commit the resources. You think Mask is good on, is good on Sylvina? Just because she pops it and she bursts. I don't know, I'm kind of holding out for... I'm kind of holding out for the better artifacts at this point. Because we're so late. I think this is... This type of composition, I think, is the better way to use Sylvina, which is why I think the Sylvina artifact's a trap. Being able to flex when you want her versus not is really strong. This is the one where they're going to alt frequently. Everyone must. You're not even worth getting up for. A battlefield more merciless than the frigid winter. Oh, they have fire dance on there, Sika. So scary. Present. Your command. Let's turn the battlefield into a cemetery. Fire, fire dance is the one that lets her instant ult and do more damage. Oh shit! I didn't play around there. Still being in our Carolinas, did I? I'm gonna lose this because I didn't play around there. I, I, just, I just needed, I needed to put Igor here. I was so, I was so caught up on thinking about their artifact that I just completely threw it in the trash. That's on me. We deserve to get crushed here. Their, their artifacts are a bit better than ours, but uh, yeah, my positioning was terrible. If I, if I positioned my, if I positioned my Igor better here, our Carolina gets to ult, then we probably have a decent shot here. If we'd have had a Carolina ult there, I think we have a very real shot. Did not because I messed up. Is this insane on Igor? It seems like it, yeah. Abyssal Bell is pretty good on Sylvina.
Uh, if you sell a character holding an item, the item goes back into your unequipped items. I, I might end up upgrading the Aru still. All right, we're six and one, so we take one more L, we're out. So let's not mess up against assassinating positioning again. Yeah, you can't you can't unload items that you don't need, unfortunately. They are a thirty seconds in. They get a big damage burst. We want to try and end it Everyone. quickly, but our team's pretty good at doing that. More so. merciless than the frigid winter. You're not even worth getting up for. Let's put his chain on her, actually, because I think she's more important long term. Let's turn the battlefield into a present. Your command. Good luck, we didn't mess up his assassinating position this time. Hey look, our people got to alt and it looks like we're doing well. Silence. It's like night and day difference. It's, it's actually just the singular most important thing you can learn to do in this game. Is positioning around assassins. Bury and then burn. Surely, surely our ego Igor and Thor kills our Igor, yes. And Bad. having enough time on the clock to deal with Igor. Yeah, yeah. Igor. Igor is definitely the king of draws. Maybe what one, Nero. Okay, well now we're just rolling aggressively for. on either of these two. Ideally both. I would love both. I'm gonna pin that for now. Because maybe we could greed not having to spend 30 on it. Upgrades our artifact too. And I can take I can take another roll at Sika here as well. Ah I don't have enough for that. I can take one more roll and sell both of these for a 15 Sika. They're only, they're only for the draft run. Every draft run is handled individually and is completely independent from the hero collector portion of the game. Okay, so if we win this one, we're guaranteed to hit our uh, our last seek upgrade on the next one. So that's nice. So if we lose one more, we're done. This is a Carolina flower. Carolina flower tells us two things. One, they're graveborn, so we should be thinking about their assassins. But two, they're guaranteed to be a Carolina cop, so our assassin is going to be important. A battlefield more merciless than the frigid winter. You're not even worth getting up for. So we'll do this. We'll Igor in the back. We'll put our Slovene in a profitable spot here, hopefully. Your progress on the hero collector portion carries over the draft. No, it's completely standalone. This is a fully competitive game Let's mode that is impossible to wail Present. more on. Your command. 
Oh, they have the when I die. Come back here, huh? With... So I think we're still putting her into the back there, but so that's a good artifact for Carolina. And they have the better instant ult on their Sika than we do. Ooh, I don't think their Carolina got to ult. Our Sika got to ult the second time. So did theirs. Berry! And then burn! Sika's still alive though. Oh yeah, and there's Solvina. Damn. Tough run. Not never seeing the flame upgrade artifact is is rough. I don't know if he's revived himself or not yet. We might we might get a draw here. Our our Thorin is really tanky. If he hasn't revived himself yet, we got a draw. Nice. Okay, sweet. I'll take I'll take a mulligan here. Bow before the king. Oh, he took over a million damage. <laughs> and draws, draws are no penalty. Draws literally just give you, give you a reroll. Average Thor in game. I mean, he's built like a tank chat. The buffed allied hero gains a shield every 12 seconds capable of absorbing 25%. So this was a, we hit our artifact upgrade, so he survived. And then he also has Cleric's Vestment. So he's gaining a 12% shield from this every five seconds. And he's gaining a, a massive shield every 12 seconds here as well. Turning, turning what was looking like going to be a loss into a draw is a big up. This is once we kill one of their heroes, everybody Every gets one. weaker. A battlefield more merciless than the frigid. You're not even worth getting up for. Counter picked a little, although I guess they have a, a light bearer. Let's turn the battle. I'm gonna put him in the back just presence. in case they have Vala. Your command. I would love to jump on their damage dealer here. They did have. They did have a Vala. Right, they hit their healing on their Henwin. Their ball is popping. Sink is down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, can Caroline ult again? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think we're going to be able to force other draw gamers. Maybe this Igor ults and gets us a stun. They just, they just have too much. I wonder if I was supposed to. I had the choice between jumping on their archer and jumping... I had the choice between jumping on their archer and jumping on their healer. And maybe maybe I should have jumped on Henwin. Maybe it was a mistake not to... Uh, maybe the one I targeted was a mistake. What the fuck? No, come on! All right, now that one. <laughs> wow. the king. I think my record on I got to like seventeen or eighteen games in a single run one time. 
because of four sig draws. The sad, the sad part about that one is he ulted and KO'd a bunch of. That was another one that would have been a win with another another five seconds. It was like, oh, we're dead. Oh, we're draw. No, we can win. Ah, oh, it's true. <laughs> the highs and lows. This artifact makes Sylvina not Everyone be great. Must pay a price. But at the same time, I feel like you're not even worth getting up for. A battlefield more merciless than the frigid winter. Let's turn the battlefield into a cemetery. At the same time, I kind of feel like, uh, oh, that's gross. Present. Your command. This guy, this guy gets a free alt. That's very, very good. You're not even worth getting up for. We win that game if we get that man of golden set armor. Yeah, maybe. Whose free alts go off first? I think they're theirs do. Yeah. Okay, ours ours pop before they died though. Silence. Oh, there's the headwind all. Their Sika all gross is not bad. I think the opponent's current composition is the best composition in this game. Zero, zero percent Torrent Surise for 53 seconds. He's a monster, but he's tight matched against four people. Damage. They have a mage. They are they are just all sustained. They are mostly sustained. There's a mage right here though, but he's mostly AOE. Oh my god, is he really gonna force another draw? <laughs> just like what we we found the draw. He's on. He's actually unkillable. Shit. The what really sucks is. We actually, with all of these draws, we keep, we could roll just a single Sika and get an upgrade for her. Am I supposed to pin this to buy it for him in case we eventually win? I feel like I'm supposed to pin this. That's true though. The cleric's vestments is what's helping keep up. I don't know. I'm not gonna pin it. I think I think in case we draw again, I want the max chance to get a 15 energy Sika. Because if we hit a 15 cost Sika, we can buy her and then have another mythic. Okay, they are also Everyone going to have a tanky lad in front. Must pay. A battlefield more merciless. You're not even worth getting up for. Let's turn the battlefield into a cemetery! Present. Your command. Jump into here and avoid this, Dorko. This game good. I have not played a game off stream as much as I've played this one off stream since Marvel Snap release. Otter, Otter Duel Mode especially, I think, is a ton of fun. It's also kind of absurd that we haven't seen the Flame Instant Ult do extra damage or effect yet. We've had so many rolls here at the end that it just, like, hasn't showed up. That would be a really solid. 
solid upgrade for Sika and Carolina. Oh my god, are we, are we finally not trying? This is this has gotta be a win, yeah? Watch their ego and Thorin draw against us. Really, surely we win this. Their Thorin is already revived, right? And their Igor has the ah, mirror wall. <laughs> all right, this is this is getting a little ridiculous. All right, finally, holy crap. Hero sale. Goodbye. Hello. I'm going to pin this. Everybody gets 11% of the carrier's basic stats. That, uh, that sounds like it'll probably be good. It's a Carolina flower, yeah? Is that the energy one? It's a Carolina flower. Everyone must. A battlefield more merciless than. You're not even worth getting up for. You technically had infinite rerolls with your infinite draw machine, Thor. He is, he is kind of an unlimited draw machine, yeah. Oh, they have the better artifact on their Carolina. Let's turn the battlefield into a cemetery. Present. Your command. So again, I'm putting him in the back to pull their Sylvina. That they likely have. They do not have the pull. We have four people against their two, chat. Four, four to one. This is it. This is it. We won. Woo we can progress. All right. One win or one loss, and the round, the round is finished. I think I want basic stats on someone. Let's roll here a little bit and see what, see what else we find. Looking for Igors or Nerus. So only 10 more rounds with Thorin, yeah, basically. We're just looking for uh, Igor 2-pack at this point. Spore at it. Okay. Who do I want to share stats from? Feel, I feel like I want to put this on somebody. I think I think it's Igor. I think the stun on Igor is not doing as much as I wanted to. I don't. I I think this giving him a twelve percent shield every five seconds is is part of what's letting him stay alive. I don't think I want to pull that off him. 
It's giving, it's giving a 12% shield every five seconds and it taunts. So I think, I think that's important to keep on there. Let's do it. And, and technically, Thorin's gonna be even tankier now because he's gonna get 11% of Igor's stats. Yes, the taunt on Igor is on Everyone him is also good. Must All right, so they're Graveborns. They're going to be still beating. Likely. Yep. Let's turn the battlefield into a cemetery! Present. Your command. versus Igor. Two versus Igor. I think that's their last grace turn. Yes, sweet. Okay. Cool. So we went uh, nine, two, and what? Four that run? Nine, nine two, and four? <laughs> That was fun. I like I, this game mode is just so it's there. I, there's so many little things to think about and improve on. I enjoy. I really enjoy the iterative beginnings of learning a new competitive game where you like hit those level up moments so frequently.